We're not offended by a couple boobs. <laughs> I'm Allie Pozesnik, and this is my handmade home in Waco, Texas. Hello, please come in. Welcome to the pink Waco A-frame. I love A-frames because of the nostalgia, the retro flair, and they're leisure worthy. These were like second homes, vacation homes. So I instantly could see me and my friends around this fire, you know, a big loungy like sectional. I could see it coming to life in my, in my mind already. There's like 600 Airbnbs in Waco, Texas. I knew this house needed to stand out. When I first bought the house, the outside and the inside were all yellow and the ceilings were yellow. So it was, I knew that it was really gonna need a whole new coating. The pink epiphany definitely turned into an obsession, I think, as I continued to see more things that I could put in this house that were pink. We're starting in the kitchen. This kitchen was like pretty yellow, pretty beige. Let's just paint it pink. Like if it's not pink, it can't be. I snuck in like pink contact paper with like all the utensils. I gotta show you. People just can't get over the pink silverware. I had all these like mismatched coops I got from Goodwill and I just like threw them up there. Listen, no one's mad at the pink toaster. And let me show you the pink fridge. People are like shook that this fridge is pink. I mean, I also was super excited when I found it. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the flooring. How could I forget about the flooring? It was this dark green carpet throughout. I mean, people literally commented on social media, like, why would you buy this house, like green carpet? And I'm like, Sl like slow down, like the carpet's gonna leave. Like, don't worry. I did find this like faux terrazzo bubblegum pink like vinyl towel and it's it now lives in the kitchen and the bathrooms. It's so much fun. It's the perfect bubblegum pink and that was what I was looking for. Let's go see the dining room. This is one of my favorite rooms and I feel like I'm going to say this every time we move through this house, but this vintage floating cabinet just gave a perfect opportunity for like a coffee bar. Look at these little stir sticks. I mean, some of the little things like are just worth having. I told you if it's not pink, paint it. Here we are. <laughs> this was not a pink lava lamp. She looks like she was meant to be pink. There's these pink velvet 1980s vintage chairs, dining room chairs. I had actually been spying on them for like a couple weeks and I was surprised that they hadn't moved. And I'm like, this is it's meant to be. I did my research. These are These are made for me. This is like a whole vibe. When you walk in there and you see these like pink dining chairs and you see these like cowgirl hats, that, that's the thing. Okay, so the main event of this leisure worthy space is this 120 inch long pink sectional sofa. This is where I want us to be hanging out at night. We're doing maybe happy hour, we're doing morning coffee. This is where the community is built. And this is the space that we're gonna gravitate towards. I decided, of course, to go all pink on the fireplace, no regrets. This brass horse is really fun. I found it in an antique shop. This is fun. I mean, everyone that comes in here, you know, we're not, we're not offended by a couple boobs. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorite parts has to be the lip sofa. I did extensive research on lip sofas and it's the perfect shape. So that, that was one of my absolute favorite purchases. You're gonna sear right when you come in the house and you're gonna wanna take a picture. I mean, look how cute it is. I want each bedroom to be super relaxed, you know, have some really interesting details. This chair is one of my absolute favorite things in the house, total bucket list vintage item. A really awesome mural just got done on the wall. My friend Christy Beard out of Austin, Texas, just finished this cowgirl hat mural and I think it's super fun. Pink, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the second story of the A-frame, baby. This little nook is where you're gonna see some of the uniqueness of the A-frame. You know, we have the slanted walls. There's not much storage up here. So, you know, I put some luggage racks up here. I would totally sleep up here. It's so cozy and you have a good view outside. Oh my goodness, I love this bedroom. 
This bedroom is a great mixture of brand new things, vintage things. I mean, guess what? I painted these, no surprise, but these were vintage. I found these online. This was a custom artist piece. A lot of variety of sourcing up here. So I had this like period of like almost a month where the flooring couldn't get be done, the painters were busy. So I started outside in the landscaping. I am crazy and I had like 12 tons of pea gravel delivered. I was out in like 105 degree weather in like August, shoveling pea gravel for hours. <laughs> okay, well, we still have several tons of gravel that are gonna be moved over here by moi. I was a maniac. I mean, I really, this is all I did. I worked full time and I came here. And this was like my biggest goal. This is a vacation rental. Uh, you know, the plan was to have groups of women come here to hang out, catch up, laugh. And I hope it inspires other women. Like we can do so much fun stuff. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Handmade for more home tours just like this.